In this lab demo, we'll create a UCS archive for the Big IP system configuration. Let's start the exercise by using the configuration utility to create a UCS archive. In the navigation pane, select the system module, then archives. Click create to proceed with the UCS file creation. UCS file names should conform to your naming convention for system backups. F5 recommends that you include the Big IP hostname and date timestamp in the file name if the UCS is to be archived off-site. If you don't explicitly include the .ucs suffix in your file name, the Big IP system will automatically add one. In this lab demo, we will name it train3 underscore base .ucs. Click finished to continue. The Big IP system is now creating your UCS file. Information about the process is displayed on the operation status screen. The file is being created in this directory. This is the only directory in which you can create a UCS file using the configuration utility. If any problems are encountered during the UCS creation, such as insufficient disk space, warning and error messages will be displayed here. Click the OK button when you are ready to proceed. Your UCS file has been created and is shown in the archive list. Now let's explore the process of downloading the UCS file to your desktop. Start by selecting the UCS you just created, then download it to your desktop. Depending on your browser settings, you may be prompted for the location to save the UCS file. Once the file has been archived for safekeeping, you could optionally delete the file from the Big IP system to save disk space. This completes the demonstration of archiving the Big IP configuration. Now we are back up a 5 R series chassis. Now log in into F5 R series chassis. Then go to System Settings and click Configuration Backup page. Click the Create button and provide a name for the backup file. Then click Create and waiting for complete message, then Dismiss. Use the System Settings and File Utilities page, and from the drop-down select Configs to see the previously saved backup file. Here you can import or export configuration backups, or you can upload or download directly to your client machine through the browser. Note that the current import and export options of files to and from the web UI require an external HTTPS server. The upload and download options allow for a browser to upload download from the client's local machine.